In other news, now their loved one was killed in what police believe was a case of road rage. Vanessa Martinez's family says her young sons are still trying to understand why their mother isn't coming home while the woman accused of killing her is out on bond. And as the night team's Patty Santos explains, Martinez's family is asking anybody who saw the incident to tell police. Little did we know that we'd be the last to yeah. stay with her. Memories of happier times taken just one week before Vanessa Martinez was shot and killed at this gas station. San Antonio police believe the May 21st shooting near Loop 410 and West Military Road was an act of road rage. 26-year-old Martinez was a passenger. There are conflicting stories between both drivers, but either way they ended up at the gas pumps. Martinez's mother says the family is still trying to grapple with their loss. They had to break the news to her two young children who keep asking when they will see their mom again. And the three-year-old just keeps saying, mommy died, mommy died. And then he, he had a, a little breakdown the other day. They're acting out a little bit, you know, but I've told them to cry and we've cry I've held them in my arms and we've sobbed together. The suspect 23 year old Casey Garcia is charged with murder. The Martinez family says a witness has been able to give them a better idea of what happened, but they are pleading for anyone who was there that night to come forward. From what I know from the detective witnesses, it's it, it was just it's extremely senseless. The family says the young mother had just started a new job, was in high spirits and trying to build a better life. That she had a beautiful smile. She was a beautiful person. She was, you know, getting closer to God. They find comfort in watching her and hearing her on home videos. It's one second at a time, one hour at a time, one day at a time, you know. That's cute. And again, that suspect is out on bond. I want to draw your attention here to uh, this memorial that has been set up here at the site where this shooting happened. The hope is that the family says this will remind people of what happened and maybe if someone who was here knows something else that can help police, they should call them. Reporting live on the far west side, Patty Santos, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.